So the game I'm playing today is called Museum of Simulation Technology. So this is a pretty cool little puzzle game that I've known about for a little while now. It originally came out as a free demo a few years ago, I think back in 2014. And this is still the most recent version of the game. This is the free demo that I'm playing. The full version has not been released yet, and I'm not sure if the full version is even still in active development. And this is another one of those games that is kind of difficult to describe without actually showing you the game, so instead of describing what this game is, I'll just play the game and show you guys what it's all about. Now one thing that I do want to say before getting started is that I do apologize for the resolution of this game being very crappy. I am recording this at only 640x480, but for whatever reason, it, it almost seems like the game is stuck at this resolution, and I can't change it no matter what I do, and there is no options menu on the title screen here, so it's not like I can go into an options menu and change the screen resolution. It seems as though the game runs automatically at whatever screen resolution your monitor is currently set to. Mine obviously is set to 1080p, but I wanted to play the game in windowed mode, which there is a windowed mode, you can press Alt-Enter to activate it, but even so, you still can't change the resolution. So I decided to configure the compatibility settings so that the game would run at 640x480. That's actually not the resolution that I wanted the game to be running at, but I just wanted to see if that would cause the screen resolution to change permanently, and it seems like that's exactly what it did, and now I can't change it back. Just because I was desperate, I even tried playing this game on my old Windows XP computer and tried to uh, play the game at a slightly higher resolution than that, but for whatever reason, when I try to record a video of this game on my old Windows XP computer, the game becomes so laggy to the point where it's pretty much unplayable, and it also messes with the actual recording as well, because it causes the audio to desync entirely. So, in the end, I just decided to give up entirely. I still wanted to make a video of this game, because I do think that uh, the concept of this game is really cool, and it's something that I've never seen in a puzzle game before. And if you guys can get past the terrible screen resolution that I'm pretty much forced to record this game at, I think you'll really enjoy what I have to show you guys today. So that being said, let's get started. Now this title screen is pretty weird because you have this like giant circle right here with some really weird chromatic aberration effects going on. So you put the uh, circle over start right here, you left click and hold down, and then the game actually begins. So the controls are pretty simple, you just press WASD to move and spacebar to jump. You have these images right here, no flash, no smoking, no pets, and no hidden pets. So, you just walk down this hallway right here and we will hold shift to run, and you can run pretty fast in this game. Welcome to the Museum of Simulation Technology, so we'll just fall down here. Uh, there is no fall damage in this game. So as you can see, you have a few objects right here. You have the Eiffel Tower, uh, I think that might be the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but I'm not sure. Uh, Pyramid, and the Statue of Liberty. Now, the thing that's really cool about this game is that you can grab these objects. So, for instance, I can pick up the Leaning Tower of Pisa right here. And, as you can see, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is ginormous. But, I can bring it towards me, and as you can see, it gets really tiny all of a sudden. And then, I can put it back to where it was originally, and suddenly, it gets very large again. And I can do this with the Eiffel Tower. So, there you go, you have like a miniature Eiffel Tower right there. And if I put it back to where it was, as you can see, it becomes very large again. And I can do this with pretty much any object in the game. So there you go, you have it like a tiny Statue of Liberty, but if I like, if I like put it right here, as you can see it becomes large, and I can just keep making it larger and larger as well, until it's, it's pretty much life-sized. So there you go, giant Statue of Liberty, bring it towards me, as you can see, gets a lot tinier. So yeah, that's, that's really cool. So it, it's basically a game that revolves around, uh, perspectives, and okay, I don't know what the heck I did to the pyramid there. So yeah, it's a game that revolves around perspectives, and depending on what angle you're viewing objects at, you can make them grow and shrink in size when you grab them. So for instance, we can also pick up these chess pieces, there we go, it kind of grew in size, but then we can make it really grow in size, just like that. We can make it grow even larger, so there we go, now you have a gigantic chess piece right here, now you have a slightly tinier one. Alright, so here we are in the first actual level of the game. Now, I will I will admit that I have played the game a little bit off-screen. Um, I didn't play any of the actual levels, though. But, it seems like we just need to uh, build up to the exit here. 
One thing I did notice is that you can also press the number keys in order to cycle through uh, different uh, different levels. So if you press the 1 key, you just go back to the starting area right here, then you can press the 2 key to skip directly to this level. You can do that with pretty much every level in the game here. So let's let's see what we have. It looks like we have like tiny... Yeah, we have like ti tiny ovens right here. Alright, so it seems like we just need to build up to the exit, so this should be pretty easy because all we have to do is just make these objects larger. So let's just see if we can if we can mess with the perspective enough. And try to make this a little bit larger. Yeah, just like that actually. But then we actually have to get up there. So let's let's see what we have. Okay, this is just like a little a little block right here. So we can just put this up here and make it fall. Yeah, this is all this is all physics based as well. There we go. So we can make this uh, a little bit larger, and then we can probably place it right next to the oven right here. We can probably jump on it. We can jump up here. There we go. And, uh, okay, well actually, I'm gonna have to bring something else up here and, uh, make it larger. Yeah. Like this little, little thing right here. Just, okay, it seems like I do need to place it up against the wall in order to actually, like, make it get larger. Okay. Well, since I can just jump back up now, because these, these things are large enough, I am gonna try and, and make this thing grow in size. Just to try and, uh... Like, like, try and, and move around right here, just to make it get larger. Maybe grab it from a distance. There we go. That's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. Yeah, so it does It does seem like it. Like this takes a little while. Okay, I think that it is large enough, though. That is definitely large enough, so I think now I can just place it maybe right over there. Okay, where exactly is that going? Hang on a second, no. I don't want you to be placed right there. I want you to, uh... Well, actually, hang on. I'm gonna bring you with me. I'm gonna jump up here, and then we're gonna place you right around here, I think. Yeah, that should be that should be good enough. Yeah, that was enough. That was enough to get me to the exit. Alrighty then. So what is the the next level here? Press R to restart. Okay, yeah. So what exactly can I use here? Okay, I can use I can use the paintings. It seems. All right. Seems like yeah. It seems like I'm gonna have to use the painting the paintings in order to uh, in order to get up there. All right. Well, well, we'll do this. Okay, hang on a second. That's not where I wanted to, to put the painting. Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna restart that because I already lost it. Okay, just, uh, maybe place it right over here. Well, actually, maybe this way? No, I think... I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm shrinking it. Okay, there we go. But now I'm making it incredibly large here. Okay, so maybe I could try and create some sort of ramp. Can I rotate this at all? It doesn't seem like I can, actually. Okay. Um, well, maybe place it, like, right over here. Okay, hang on a second. Just place it, like, like back this way. Yeah, I need to I need to be aware of the perspective as well, because this thing can also grow and shrink, depending on what, uh... What the heck was that bounce? <laughs> yeah, depending on what per what angle I'm, I'm looking at it at. So, I just need to be... I just need to be careful here. All right. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. If I am taking uh, too long of a time, I could just skip this level, though. Because, uh, you know, I can just I can just press the 4 key to advance to the next one. But I'm gonna try and build my way up here. I'm, I'm not sure what the heck I'm even doing. I guess I could use these things as platforms, but... Uh, let's, let's see here. Can I actually, like, pick these things up right here, I wonder? No, I can't. So I can only... I can only pick up the paintings. Well, here's a giant Mona Lisa painting. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I could possibly use that. Maybe I can bounce off of that and... Well, actually... Maybe a better idea, I could maybe use this as a ramp. Uh, okay, why can I not pick this up again all of a sudden? What is what is going on here? Okay, I have to grab it from, from the other the other side? Okay, fine then. Maybe I can just make it... Make it, uh... Like... Move a little bit down? Or I mean, like, make it make it fall towards the wall right here, so I can get up. Here, maybe I can maybe I can hit it into it. Hang on a second. Uh! Is, is, is that even doing anything? No, I don't think I don't think it is actually. Um, okay, what about what about the other painting then? Maybe I can use this as a ramp. Let's let's see here. I gotta try and make this make this large enough. Okay, where exactly are you going? Okay, like that. Can I jump up you? Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of weird. It seems like I can j like kind of wall jump in this game a little a little bit. It seems. But it doesn't. It doesn't exactly seem like this. This works all too well. 
No, it doesn't seem like, like that's a viable option at all. Okay, and I can't... Okay, well, actually, I can pick this up again. Okay, here we go. How about I, how about I try doing this, then? All I want to do is just, is just try and get to, uh... Get to, like, that, that platform up there. Come on here. Come on here. Maybe I can go up the side, perhaps? Is this even working at all? No, I don't think it is. Well, I think it kind of, kind of was. Okay, what about this direction? Well, actually, hang on. Let me get the Mona Lisa painting again. Make it fall towards that other painting, perhaps? What the heck is even going on? What is this physics anomaly right here? Can I jump on you? Oh, wow, what am I doing? What the heck am I doing? I'm just, I'm just breaking everything. Okay, there we go. It's, it, I'm using it as an actual ramp now. Okay, that's good. Now, can I just jump up here? Okay, yes, this is actually working. This is actually working. Very nice indeed. There we go. All right. Made it through that level. I don't think there are that many levels in this game, though, guys. So, this is, this is not gonna take, uh, a long time at all. Okay, what the heck is going on down here? All right, got, got all sorts of the building blocks, I see. Activity time for kids, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. I don't know if maybe I could have gotten a, a running start there, just clear everything. You know what, just out of curiosity. Hey! Okay, no, I can't, I can't do that. Well, actually, hang on a second. Maybe I can just, I can just bypass this entirely and, and maybe land on this and then jump off of it. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that almost worked. Okay, well, hang on a second. This is, this is, this is very simple, though. This is very simple. I can just put you guys up like this, perhaps? Yeah, it does seem like that, that would work. Okay, yeah, but I would need, I would need at least one other, one other thing here. So just grab this. Okay, don't, don't grab it like that. Okay, well, it is blocked now. Come on here. Grab it. G grab it, for goodness sakes. I don't understand why I can't grab it when I'm looking at it at certain angles. Okay, well, actually, maybe I could use it as a ramp again. Uh, am I, am I actually getting any distance at all? No, because I think this, this thing is, uh, not, not angled correctly. At least I don't think it is. I can't even tell. Hang on a second. Can I, can I jump? Can I jump up here? Okay, no, I can't. Um, hmm. Okay, well, maybe I could use this instead. Yeah, I really don't understand why you can't rotate objects in this game. Fine, I'll take, I'll take this then. And maybe I'll place it, like, right here. No, hang on a second, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Let's see if that, that grants me enough height. Is that high enough? No, it isn't. Well, maybe I can, I can jump off of this thing. Okay, that was not even the, the right angle. Oh god, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Okay, no, I'm not. Um, okay, fine. Maybe one, one last one. Um, okay, well, I probably need to get this thing out of the way here. Okay, it's just, it's just stuck at that angle now. Okay, well, at least it fell down. All right. This thing right here that I could place, maybe look at it directly from the top. Okay, no, that's still at, like, the, the same height. Okay, don't, don't go on me, please. Oh my god, dude. Okay, well, maybe I can use this one as a ramp, actually, just because it's, it's shaped a little bit differently, so I'm thinking maybe. Okay, yeah, that's working. That is, okay, well, maybe, maybe it's not working. Hang on a second. Hold on a moment. This is kind of, kind of working. There we go. Very nice indeed. Okay, what about this? The exit is just right over there, and... Oh, wow. Okay, that is, uh, that is a giant pit. That is definitely a giant pit. Maybe I could, uh... Hang on, that, that does give me an idea, actually. Maybe I can build a bridge here. Maybe I can create a bridge to get over this gap. Maybe I just need to create... Like, I just need to make this large enough. So, let me, let me try something here. Because I kind of have an idea. I have an idea for this. Oh, jeez, okay. I'm also very slidey as well. Some very slidey, slidey physics going on here. Alright. Well, this is very large. Is this large enough to get over this gap? Well, it's not even going to be large enough for me to actually jump on it. I mean, yeah, it's large enough to clear the gap now, but I think it's uh, a little bit a little bit too large here. Can I perform some uh, some wall jumps on this? No, I definitely, I definitely cannot. Okay. Well, maybe I can just... Just build my way up this thing, then. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll try using some level skips here, because it does seem like... I don't know, it seems like it seems like the mechanics are a little bit strange, because it's like... I can't grab it like this, because it's blocked, but I can grab it from this angle, which is really bizarre. Okay, that's that's also a little bit bizarre. What the heck is going... what the heck is going on with this? 
Okay, what the heck is- what- what the heck even is this now? I can't- I can't jump on this? All of a sudden? Okay, this is, uh, okay, yeah, I think that's a little bit too high. Um, okay, well, what exactly is down in this pit? Do I just- do I just fall off the, uh, okay, no, it just- it just fades out. Oh, no, and it- and it goes back to, uh, this place right here, okay. Well, you know what? Screw that. Let's just- let's just skip to the next one. Besides, I'm only- I'm only playing this just to show this game off to you guys. Okay, so I have to build up to that exit. Let's see here. I can use a fan. And a lamp? What exactly would I- would I use all this stuff for? Uh, well actually, no, I can't even- I can't even, uh... Pick up the lamp. Okay. So, I just use a fan? I don't under- I don't understand. Or maybe... Actually, no. This thing is kinda leaning a little bit. Maybe... Maybe I need to knock this down. Or, or can I knock this down? Hang on a second. Well, I need to make the fan large, obviously. So... Maybe... Okay, well, maybe put it in front. Okay, hang on a second. That's not... That, okay, well, yeah, that is definitely in front. Maybe blow the exit down? Okay, yeah, that is actually working. It's, it's kind of moving. There we go. Yeah, the exit fell. And I can just go through it? Wow, okay, that was like the easiest level in the entire world. If an object is outlined in blue, you can right-click to rotate it. Oh, okay. So you can rotate objects in this game, but you can only rotate, like, certain objects. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, why can I not pick this up all of a sudden? Hey, got a tiny little, tiny little space shuttle right here. Alright. Where exactly is, uh, is, is the exit, though? Or is there even an exit in this, in this level? I'm not even sure. Um... Let me just look inside the space shuttle here. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't seem like there is anything, so... I'm not really sure what the point of this level is, but... Maybe it's just to show off this mechanic. I really don't even know. Here, let's let's try and make this as, as large as we possibly can. Here we go. Maybe we do need to get in somehow. Okay, hang on a second. I can, I can jump on its nose, probably. Yeah, here we go. Now we can get in. Okay, actually, I can't- I can't fall in here. Um... Alright, well, it seems like there is nothing else to this level, guys. I think it's literally just a level showing off this mechanic, but there's nothing else to it. So, maybe we'll just move on to the next one. Over here. Okay, what exactly- what exactly is- is going on out here? Okay. Uh, the exit is out there. Oh, what the heck is this? I'm sorry? Uh, okay. Yeah, the exit- is in the window. What in the world? Okay, yeah, and I can I can resize the window as well. Okay, this is this is getting strange. This is getting just a little bit strange here. Um okay. What exactly do I do I do about this though? How do I how do I get out of here? Do I have to place it somewhere? Like in a certain in a certain spot? Or do I have to make it large enough? What is going on? Um Okay, yeah, I'm really, really not sure what to do here. Make the window larger, and the exit's right outside, but it's like I can move it around. So what about over here, perhaps? No? Maybe the exit's behind it. Uh, yeah, there's like nothing, nothing in behind the window. Can I just walk through it? No, I can't. Okay, so what exactly is the point of this? Actually, okay, let's 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 try something out here. Um, well, it doesn't seem like I well I can kind of move the painting through the window, but I can't like drop it down into into that into that portal on the other side. No, it doesn't seem like I can. Okay, well I don't understand this at all. Uh, can I just can I just move on to another level, please? Yeah, this is another level with mirrors. Wait, what? Hang on a second. There's a red block on the other side. Is this an actual portal? I don't... Oh. Yeah. It, 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 it does function as a portal. Okay. This is really weird, but can I... Yeah, well, I can take objects through it. Yeah, it's like it's like a mirror or... I, I don't even know. This is... The, okay, this is... This is really messing with my mind now, because I don't even know what the heck is happening here. What if I bring it on the other side? Here, put- put this- this blue block right- right down over here. Yeah, they're on- they're on the other side now. 
What if I just... Oh, okay. I can actually pick up the mirror and put it somewhere else. What in the world? Oh, and now it's it's over there now. So let me let me guess. If I go through the mirror, I come out on the other side. Whoa, hang on a second. I'm larger now. Whoa, hold on. Hold on a moment, boys. Wait. Can I can I not go back can I not go back through now? Yeah. I become larger as well. Oh. Okay. I see what's happening here. So if I go through this mirror, I just become even larger. Wait, I think I see myself. Hang on a second. I see my character model there? Wow, okay. My character model looks like a Tic Tac. What the heck is that all about? That's really weird. Yeah, I do see some stuff on the other side. I actually see the exit. Okay, is there absolutely anything else? Hmm... No, actually, I think that was the final level. Actually, you know what? I forgot that you can crouch in this game, so maybe I can go back to this level. And maybe I can make this m this window large enough so that I can, you know, just, uh... I can just, uh, crouch through it, and I can make it through, right? Or... No, maybe, maybe I can't. Okay, hang on a second. What if I... what if I make this even larger? How large can I possibly make this? Uh... Let's see here. Maybe... maybe now? Is it... is it large enough? Uh... oh, well... It seems like it's almost large enough to... to fit through, but not quite. Also, what are these textures on these... on these, uh... these mountains anyway? Like, look at this. It's just stripes. I don't understand this at all. Okay, um... Yeah, it, it does seem like that is what I have to do, so maybe I can place it over here. I mean, it doesn't seem like I can really make it that large. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe this is what I have to do. Oh! Okay, I just went right through the window, what the heck? Okay, yeah, it does seem like that works, but when I crouch through it, I just go right through the window. Like, I don't, I don't come out on the other side. So, this clearly doesn't work. No, it, it doesn't. I just go straight through the window. So, how how am I supposed to beat this level, then? Because I, I actually do not know. Like, I don't know at all. It almost seems like... Yeah, it almost seems like it's it's a texture. I don't really know. Okay, yeah, that's, that's very... Well, I mean, it's definitely not a texture. Because it I can move around in it, but... Yeah, this this level is confusing. I don't know what what the heck you're supposed to do. Like how you're how you're meant to beat this at all. I really don't know. Maybe I can take a painting through it now. Hang on, just make this a little bit tinier. Hey. Yeah, the painting just goes right through it as well. So, I don't think even the painting's affected by this. Okay, well it just became very small. Yeah, I I don't understand this level, guys. I really do not. Here, I can just kind of like walk through it now because it's large enough. Yeah, that doesn't- that doesn't do anything at all, so... Okay, I don't understand that level. And you know what, guys? I think I am done for now. So there you go, that is Museum of Simulation Technology. That's the entire game, guys. And like I said, the full version is still not out now, so this is literally the only version of the game that is still available. And it's only, like, a tech demo. Just meant to show off the, uh, technology behind this game. But it's still really cool, though, how you can pick up objects and drop them down, and depending on what angle you're looking at them from, they either grow or shrink in size, and that is really cool. That's a mechanic that I don't think I've ever seen in a puzzle game before, and I really do wish that this would get turned into a full game, and I think the guy who developed this game, I'm pretty sure this game was developed mostly by one person, and I think he was working on a full version of this game, a full version and more fleshed out version, but... I don't know, it, it doesn't seem like he's really working on it anymore, because I haven't heard anything about it in uh, quite a while, or anything new about it, I should say. So yeah, I don't really know what exactly happened to this game. I really do hope the full version of this comes out sometime soon, even if it does take, like, many years. From now, I mean. I mean, it, it has already taken a lot of years. This, this demo's been out for, like, three years now, but I really do hope they they make this into uh, a full game. Like, I hope the full version comes out 
eventually, because if it ever does, then I would definitely like to play it, because this is a really cool concept for a puzzle game. But it seems like that is the entire demo, guys. There's only a few levels, and yeah, that's pretty much the entire game. Not really a whole lot to say about it, but the uh, mechanic that this game revolves around, it's definitely really, it's definitely really unique for a puzzle game, and it's something that I've never seen done before. And uh, if you guys want to download this game and play it for yourselves, the link is in the description as always. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!